You might think with a record number of women serving in the House and Senate, Congress's old ways of doing things would be changing. But a handful of freshman congresswomen say that sexism actually remains alive and well on Capitol Hill. CNN Sunland Sirfati reports. And uh, it's systemic and it has an impact. New freshman members of Congress are pulling back the curtain on what many see as a pervasive culture of sexism on Capitol Hill. I guess I would say it's archaic sexism. You say hi to them and they'll say, hey, beautiful, or hey, darling, and, and um, that's just like every day that kind of thing happens. California Democrat Katie Hill revealing a conversation she had with a male member of Congress about one-minute speeches on the House floor. He joked to her that he can be a Mr. Five-Minute Man or Mr. Whatever-Minute Man you want. And I'm like, ooh, he needs to know. People need to know that, like, you can't say that kind of thing. These freshman women coming in with record-breaking numbers on Capitol Hill say they are confronting what needs to be changed by calling out the old ways directly. And the only way it can be broken down is by seeing women as your peers um, and over and over and over again and, and having those kinds of behaviors not be accepted. Georgia Democrat Lucy McBath facing comments from outside the Capitol, sexist attacks from this conservative radio show. You're there to knock Lucy McBath back Get into the, the hell kitchen. Up. Yeah, go back to yeah, go back to sewing stuff and uh, you know needlepoint and things like that. That'd be great. I laughed. I thought this is just so archaic. These kinds of sentiments about women. McBath firing back and raising money off it online. It just fuels the fire for me and for all the numbers of women and grassroots organizers that are women that have been standing up. New York Democrat Alexandria Ocasio Cortez too has been no stranger to hitting back when criticism of our work attire spread online like wildfire within her first few days on Capitol Hill she was quick to label pictures being taken of her clothes and backside as misogyny just those little things kind of add up to a larger culture but I do think that things are different now because um, because we feel empowered to call it out and say, hey, that's not cool. A huge part of that empowerment, their very powerful social media platforms that these women are weaponizing as they call out bias. Highlighting um, a lot of the stuff that we've been dealing with that hasn't been okay, but we've just been told to grin and bear it. And all this comes, of course, in the wake of the Me Too movement that has just been a wave hitting Capitol Hill, Jake, over the course of the last year. All right, Sunland Sarfati on Capitol Hill, thank you so much.